Let's go to Patricia Baxter, who's calling us from Royston in Hertfordshire. Hi, Patricia. Hello. Hi. What did you want to say? What worries me is our reputation in the world. We used to have a reputation for integrity, reliability, fairness, common sense, decency. And in two short years, all that has been trashed by Boris Johnson. His reputation, both personal and political, is squalid. And that was well known to the people who put him there, even as London mayor. His yeah, reputation... but, but Patricia, he was elected as the prime minister. He yeah. has, you know, that, that is voters who have decided that him at the helm of the party at a, a really politically choppy time, more choppy than I can remember with the whole Brexit vote going on, that he was the man to steward this time. Well, quite so. But I think they okay, were but, wrong. But they, okay, they, but, but you're saying, you know, that... that you, yeah, Sorry. go on. No, well, carry his on. reputation was well known. He was elected purely because the Conservative Party thought he could win it. They didn't really care what might happen when it was done with. They would be in power. And they thought that he was the one who would win it. And he did. And he won it not entirely by fair means. I mean, his slogans, his Brexit slogans, were each of them, each of those slogans had a lie implicit in it. Yeah. And but the thing is, again, I mean, you're, 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 I mean, we, we, in, in, we, we just can't relive that Brexit argument again no, and again and again, can doing. we? And we're, talk, and we're talking, just a second, Patricia, because, you know, it's, it's easy for somebody to say, well, hang on a minute. You know, first of all, he was voted in. He was chosen by his party. He was voted in by the public. And also in the referendum, you know, they went with his side, right? Yes. Right. There were better okay. candidates on, on the scene okay. at the time who were less dishonest. Patricia, th yes. th thank you very much. I mean, I'm sort of quite keen to look at, at, at the here and now and going forward m more. I but thank you very much for your call. Uh, right. Mike Cashman's been in touch. John